closely and um, you know, I try to watch as much as I can everywhere, but you can only do so many places at one time. But, but it's a, a great opportunity right now for those players. And we've got a couple guys like, you know, guys like Germany Smith and guys like Adrian Falconer that have been here. And, you know, they're going into their third years now. They have a chance to really take dramatic steps forward. And historically in our program, when our team does well, typically we have guys in that second, third, fourth years that are, you know, really starting to reach and really starting to show that, you know, they can go out there and play successfully uh, in, in, in the Big Ten. So that's kind of what we're hoping to see. Those guys take those kinds of steps. And then, um, you know, we, we threw a little curveball and we put Nick Easley's name on the depth chart. Uh, you know, get a little something going there and just stir it up a little bit. But uh, <laughs> here's a guy who really did well uh, at Iowa Western and uh, has come in and done a nice job in the winter program. So, you know, who knows what he's going to do. But, uh, you know, he's got a chance to go in there and compete. And it's, especially with Matt being out, you know, it's, it's wide open right now for everybody to have a chance to just to, basically the, the goal is to demonstrate they can play and help us, help us win football games. And then we'll figure out where they belong afterwards. How does the numbers issue of wide receiver in the spring kind of impact things? Because Vandenberg's out, and I think yeah. nearly half the guys that are going to be in that room are on campus yet. Yeah, well, we, we pick up four, certainly, uh, you know, uh, in August. So, um, and we're, we're within a quarter, corner also. Yeah, so the way it always works, right? I mean, we just don't have numbers either way. But we'll, we'll be able to get good quality work in there. We'll be fine.